Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. Happy Sunday, it is Sunday and I am coming at you with one of our all time favorite pasta recipes. This is tried and true in our house and I thought it was the perfect time to share it with all of you. As promised, I am bringing you more and more and more recipe videos in 2022. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do upload five days a week. Ring the bell so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, super, super important, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget, head on over, join us on Facebook. Such an amazing community. We have pasta to make. We have a delicious recipe to make, so let's jump in. For tonight's dinner recipe, we are making grilled chicken and asparagus pesto pasta. This is one of our very, very favorite dinners. It is so incredibly delicious that I wanted to share it with you guys in its own dedicated video. So let me show you what's in our recipe. If you hear noise in the background, Troy's mopping. So you may hear our mop, but we are using two large chicken breasts. These are from Imperfect Foods. These are their pasture raised chicken breasts. Really, really good quality. This is my first time buying these and I really, and they are really, really excellent quality. Of course, I'll link Imperfect Foods down below for you guys with $20 worth of free groceries. There's no minimum order. So you can go order meats, pantry items, dairy they have literally everything and it helps prevent food waste which is amazing my cheese is also from imperfect foods this is a grand crew it's just a mix of really good high quality white shredded cheeses which is excellent on this pasta you'll need some salt and pepper asparagus Italian seasoning one lemon pesto pine nuts and pasta so of course we use the fiber gourmet pasta that is our favorite. It is 100 calories for two ounces. Now traditional pasta is about 210 to 220 calories. So it's less than half. It also has 25 grams of fiber, 17 net carbs, and seven grams of protein per serving. It literally tastes just like regular pasta. I think the taste and texture is even better, honestly. And it's only three points for two ounces versus six or seven points for two ounces. So I buy mine off of Nutrition. They have lots of different shapes, elbows, rotini, penne, linguine, which is basically spaghetti, which is what we're using tonight. And I find that Nutrition has the biggest selection and the lowest price. So I'll make sure that that is linked down below for you if you wanted to grab some fiber gourmet pasta. So let's get started on dinner. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. I'm spraying my little quarter sheet pan here with some nonstick cooking spray. I love these. I bought this two pack off of Amazon. I'll make sure I link them for you. They are so great. We're going to add our chicken, season it with salt and pepper and Italian seasoning. Now we're going to chop up the asparagus as well. I like to chop off all of the kind of woody ends. Go ahead and spray a baking sheet with some nonstick cooking spray. Add your asparagus. Make sure it's spread out really good so that it can roast all the way through. And then I'm going to spray it really quickly with some nonstick cooking spray just so my seasoning sticks to it. And we're going to season with salt and pepper and a Italian seasoning. I'm going to put my asparagus in the oven right alongside my chicken and then we'll get the pasta going. In my tiny little egg pan, I'm going to just quickly roast up two tablespoons of the pine nuts. It just enhances the flavor a lot, makes them nice and crispy. So our pine nuts are nice and toasted, so I'm going to go ahead and remove them from the heat. I have my water coming to a boil here for my pasta. Chicken and asparagus are in the oven. Pasta is just about done. 
I just pulled the chicken out of the oven. I'm going to actually cut it into bite-sized pieces. I have my pasta here ready to go. This whole recipe is made in one bowl. So it's really truly easy for how incredibly delicious it is. So I am going to go ahead and just dice up my chicken. Asparagus is out of the oven, nice and crispy. So I'm going to add that in with the pasta and the chicken. Look how yummy this looks already. And we haven't even added the pesto, the cheese. So to assemble the pasta, it's very, very easy. We're going to add one third cup of pesto sauce. I juiced half of that fresh lemon. Here's our toasted up pine nuts. I'm going to put most of those in. I am going to save a little bit for garnishing. And then three tablespoons or so of the cheese. And then mix, just mix everything together really well and it's done. It is that simple of a recipe. There is what the completed pasta looks like. Let me go ahead and plate this up and I'll be back to share points and calories. All right, so here is dinner. So this is the completed pasta. This looks incredible with the chicken, the asparagus, the toasted pine nuts. That really good cheese definitely makes this dish. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen for you. I cannot wait to dig in. Thank you for joining me for another absolutely incredible WW recipe. I hope you are excited to make this for your family. It's definitely a winner. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Of course, I'd love to have you here. Click your bell so you never miss a single video and check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook. Happy Sunday, friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's meal prep. Bye.